Okay, so today on BB Ranch, we're gonna find out how bulletproof a golf a golf cart hood is. Um, don't ask how we got one, but we do. So we hooked it up over there, and we're going to be shooting it today with a couple of rounds. We're gonna first we're gonna start off with. Well, actually, they're all the same round. We're all, these these are like all 17 cal, but this this is like part of my collection here, and we're gonna see if it stops it. And if it stops everything, it's going to be what we call level 1A, meaning it it doesn't stop shit, but like you guys know what I'm talking about. So we're going to start off with like our weakest round here, and it's going to be this one. So this is like, it has the lowest muzzle velocity right here. So these fire still BBs, most of these, up until we start getting to um, like the more, the bigger rifles. This one uh, fires at about... Uh, 80 to 80, well, 85 to like 110 feet per second. So it's really slow in the, you know, in comparison to most of these others. So let's go ahead and get out there. Okay, so we're, we're gonna start off with this little baby gun here. I actually got this when I was a little kid. So let's go ahead and fire. And I have like Sharpie marked over there to see where we've hit before. We've done this, we've done a test run before this. Let's fire. Let's check it out. I didn't even see it go this far. Like it, it barely hit it. Um, where did it, where did we even hit it? it hit, oh, right here, right there. You can barely tell. So we hit that little tiny dent. So if you're in your golf cart cruising down the street and somehow someone's like really high above you, uh, you're safe from this kind of ground. So let's move it up. This is like my baby Daisy right here. I got this a while ago. It's kind of chipped up. Um, this has around about the same muzzle velocity. It's gonna have around 90 to 130. So it's gonna be about the same, but it, it's a little bit faster. So we're gonna see what it does. I marked the last round we fired. Firing. Ooh, that hit a lot harder. Mm -hmm. Let's go check it out. I thought I hit around here. Here it is. Is that it? Yep. Or, you sure? Barely feels like a dent. Or maybe it's this one. Nah, it's this. It's this. So it seems to be a little bit deeper, a little bit more defined, but nothing even close to going through. We're gonna step it up. All right, so this is my MP5K. Uh, we're gonna skip the last one. We, we skipped um, the other round because it's moving at the same speed. We know it's not gonna do anything. So this is my MP5K. It has a safety switch and a semi-auto on both sides, so if you're left-handed or right-handed. And we have our charge handle. And we're ready. Let's see what this does. Ooh, okay, so I forgot to mention this fires at about 350 feet per second. So it should have done more. Let's go check it out. Yeah, I think I see right here. It's hit right below. Um Shit, where is it? Like, I swear to God, it was like right down here. Did you see where it went? No. Oh, here it is, right here. Yep, I feel that. So, I don't know if you can appreciate it on camera, but it's a much deeper hole. But nothing really even close to coming through, it looks like. It bulbed the back in a little bit. I barely see it right here. There's the bulging right there. Nothing even close to coming through though. Let's step it up. All right, so this is the next round we're doing. This is my Bushmaster MPW. This is an AR-15 model. Uh, we got a red dot on it. We got a tactical light. We have a uh, laser sight on it, which needs batteries. And that's about it. So I have it kind of tricked out. It has a safety switch here, only on this side. A semi-automatic and a fully automatic so only doing semi for right now and let's fire this has about uh, 400 feet per second to 425 is what it said so it's moving a little bit faster than last round firing Whew. um it's over here that's it right there look at that a lot deeper biggest wound we have so far all right, so that didn't go through though, so let's step it up. 
So this is a round that I think might actually go through it. It's a 760 Pump Master Classic. We're actually firing three BBs down it. This is what I call the shotgun. And we're just gonna give it, we're gonna, it's got about 10 pumps in it, so it's firing approximately 500 to 550 feet per second. I'm gonna aim at the left side, left side this time. Firing. Woo. All right. And yep, all three hits right here. I'm not sure which one that one was. Probably this is our grouping right here. Uh, dented it a little bit better, or about the same as last time. Nothing going through though. So, so far, if you're hiding behind the roof of the golf cart and someone comes at you with any kind of BB gun, you're good, but not for long. This is the same gun right here. Uh, we're just gonna be firing one this time. So this is just a normal rifle round. And 15 pumps is gonna be firing at about 700 feet per second, 720. I think this is the first one that could actually go through. Let's test it. I'm gonna aim top, top left, firing. Ooh, I can see a hole already. That's not good. It goes through. Hit right here. Oh yeah, look. That's actually a really deep hole. Holy crap. Cracked it on the back. All right, we're bringing out the big boy this time. This is the 17 cal Gamo Vermin. We're gonna be firing these. So these are just mainly practice rounds. They're called the Piranha Tips. 10.5 grain, they're firing. They're moving at about 900 feet per second. They don't have a whole lot of penetrating power. But like we're firing these. So here's what they look like. I don't know if you can see that on camera or not, but that's what we're firing. We're gonna go ahead and just put that in our rifle and we're gonna pull that down. All right. I wanna aim about, um, I aim kinda high. I wanna aim dead center and I'm gonna aim a couple feet high. There we hit it. Let's go figure out where. Okay, so it turns out I'm a bad shot. Here's where it hit. I was aiming right about here on this screw right here. Hit over here. <laughs> uh, we were about 50 yards away though. Went straight through. I mean, that could be a weak spot, but I'm just gonna call it that. Um, so, t so for the most part, if your threats are gonna be BB guns, you're gonna be fine because you know, you're gonna be driving they're probably not gonna hit you from really close like we did with those rounds. So chances are you'll be safe as long as like someone's like sniping at you from a rooftop or something. But if they have anything bigger um, than the 15 pump rifle round, then you're gonna be in trouble. So if you see anyone with a gun like this, like haul ass. All right. All right guys, so that's the end of the video. Uh, we just wanted to come out here and test to see um, how bulletproof Golf carts, good charge, and with roots. Not that bulletproof. Anyways, that being said, we'll see you next time. We have a really cool video coming up. So I'm really look, looking about, I'm really looking at getting that done. Like, comment, subscribe. Also, 